What's going on YouTube? In my last video, I showed you the unboxing of the OptiBay, uh, courteously donated by MCE Technology for review. So um, this is actually going to be the review video of the OptiBay. Now, what you get in the box is you get the OptiBay itself, which is basically a bracket for an extra hard drive for laptops. And then, of course, you get the USB 2.0 um, super drive enclosure so that doesn't go to waste. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump right into this review. So I hope you guys enjoy and um, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay guys, so we're here with the review, and the reason I'm showing you the keyboard right now is because in this general vicinity right here was where the uh, old super drive used to um, reside. So now that we have the OptiBay installed, um, we have the uh, hard drive bracket installed right in here, and we took out the super drive, and inside that hard drive bracket is, uh, of course, a spinning hard drive. Now, you're probably wondering the reason why I did this. Now, the reason why I did this was because I have an SSD, which... Uh, all SSD uh, users know they're very constricting with size. I only have 128 gigabytes of size on my SSD. Now, with the OptiBay, I'm able to run dual hard drive, so I can store all of my movies and TV shows onto the um, second hard drive. So I actually have a 320 gigabyte Western Digital Blue Scorpion 5400 RPM hard drive installed in there, which um, I find to be really useful. Now, whenever me, I'm just anal about this. I find it, I need to have my hard drives as clean as possible. I hate when there's leftover files, that just bothers me. So, with the addition of the second hard drive, I feel like I, I don't have to be as anal with my solid state drive, and uh, it actually freed up a lot of space on my solid state drive. I moved my iTunes, my iPhoto, uh, all of my iMovie alias files and stuff over to um, the second hard drive, and I found it to free up about 100, uh, 100 gig of space. So now I have about you know, uh, a good 115 gigabytes of space. I pretty much have the operating system and a couple apps running on there, and that's about it. So um, it definitely freed up a lot of space. But first, we're going to go over a couple of the problems of this. So basically, uh, after the use of this, I've noticed that ba battery life has gone pretty much down the tubes. Now, Apple has made laptops not to be able to run dual hard drive, and they, they made it so that you would get the most out of your laptop with one hard drive. They never really thought anybody would come around and take out the super drive, which is right here, and install a second hard drive. Now, the tax on that is a good hour of battery life you're going to get a loss out of, just because... Um, just because my laptop has to keep this hard drive spinning whenever it's on. Now, if I were to get a solid state drive, uh, I would definitely get a lot more battery out of it. Maybe only lose 10 or 20 minutes because they take a lot less power uh, because they don't actually have to fin uh, spin a physical platter. But um, I've noticed a good, good amount of battery loss. Now, moving on to the next problem, I'm just going to go over all the problems first. So, guys, don't think this is a horrible product. I'm, not, I'm just going in this kind of order. But um, moving on to the next problem is the instructions. The instructions I found to be extremely vague, and um, just to me, they were kind of worded weird, and I just had a hard time installing this. Uh, one thing they can do to improve upon that, which is pretty easy, is make an installation video for all the different MacBook Pros. Now, they have printed out instructions, and if they made an installation video and bundled that in with the CD they gave me, if you didn't see my unboxing video, it'll be on the screen. But if they bundled that in with the uh, CD they gave me, then I feel like the installation would have gone a lot smoother than it did. Now, um, I was expecting the installation to take maybe 10, 15 minutes, you know, unscrew a couple screws. No, it ended up taking me about an hour and a half to get this in and get the super drive out. I had a very difficult time getting this out. And the reason being is just because they're so vague and I feel like they weren't very informative. They, it only gave about half a page of instructions and a couple of pictures explaining what to do. Now, for many, especially com computer savvy people, that'll be enough, but I'm trying to come from the... Um, the not so computer savvy people and trying to go with uh, oh you don't know too much about the inside of a computer because honestly that was the first time I opened up my MacBook Pro other than to put some extra RAM in so um, the instructions uh, can definitely be fixed uh, there's definitely a fix there so I'd recommend Opti uh, MCE Technologies fixes that uh, it would make everything go a lot easier but the, the directions were definitely kind of a fail on their part because they were just so vague to me and I felt like I was misled now, moving on to the super drive enclosure. This is a very good product. Um, it, it comes free with the OptiBay so that your super drive doesn't go to complete waste. 
Now what you're first going to notice is that it takes up two USB plugs. This can be a problem for a lot because especially on the MacBook Pros, you have two USB plugs and that is all you have because Apple has uh, restricted all of the, uh, a lot of the USB like ports that could possibly be on the MacBook Pro just so they can put more battery in and make it as compact as possible. So um, basically I'm, I'm going to unplug these real quick. So what you've noticed right there is that uh, unplugging this can get a little bit difficult. They tend to get stuck in there. But basically all you have to do is uh, pry the top off and throw this in here with a little mounting drive that turns a SATA into a USB 2.0. Now, when I was installing the super drive into this, I also found it very hard to get in. Uh, I, I can already see the comments on that. But um, th I feel like this is a very plasticky enclosure. Uh, it feels very fragile almost, very frail. And when you try and take it apart, um, it definitely doesn't feel nice to take apart. It's definitely very, very, very bendable, and then you're going to have a hard time taking it apart. Like, if I were to try and take it apart right now, I'd probably snap it. But as you can see, there's just some clamps. But other than that, this is definitely a plus considering it comes free with OptiBay. And... Um, so I found it very hard to mount the super drive inside of this itself. So all you had to do was pry this side open and that side open and take the top off and then you had to mount it inside with a um, SATA to USB uh, micro USB connector. Now I found it extremely hard to mount this inside of it just because there was no really outline to kind of place it in. You kind of had to judge it on your own and you had to put like the SATA connector into the, uh, the SATA to USB connector in there and then just kind of line it up with the back port right there and that was kind of your guideline. Now it would be a lot better if they could provide a guideline on the inside of this um, to kind of rest the super drive in and then you could uh, connect the USB to SATA connected from there. So those are pretty much all of the complaints guys that I have. Um, moving on to the better part to this. I'm going to go ahead and throw that over there. So the better parts of this is just the whole general idea in itself. Uh, the idea to take out the super drive and add a second hard drive is a fantastic and innovative idea, I think, just because there's people out there like me who who work with a lot of TV shows, movies, um, film uh, takes up a lot of space, and uh, it's very nice to just have a spinning hard drive and a solid state drive for that dual compatibility kind of thing, where you have the solid state drive to load your operating system and all of your apps on, and then you have your hard drive for all of your metadata for those apps so that you can you know have mass storage and then of course you can have the solid state for quickness now don't mind that guys that's just my dogs barking downstairs now on top of that there were no problems of rattling on the inside or you could hear the hard drive moving or anything like that um, there was no problems like that as far as heat goes uh, it has heated up but that's just what I think from the nature of the spinning hard drive uh, as long as you're going to have anything moving in there, it's definitely going to heat up. I'm used to the solid state drive, and the solid state drive doesn't typically heat up too much, but the spinning hard drive definitely heated my laptop up. And again, power consumption power consumption kind of fell too. So that's one complaint I have, but that's not uh, their fault. That's actually just the nature of having two hard drives and then one of which being spinning. So guys, that was my review of the OptiBay for uh, laptops. And what this enables you to do is basically, uh, as I said before, have two hard drives inside of your laptop, which is very compact. And then, of course, um, you can have mass storage and a solid-state drive just so that you, know, you can have the reliability of the solid-state drive and then the mass storage of the... HDD, like I said. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. MCE Technology, thank you for sending this, sending me this out. It is a great product. And, guys, my overall rating of this would be an 8.5 out of 10. Now, it is not going to be worth the $99. Uh, I, I would think if they bumped down the price to maybe uh, $80, and you guys would have a great product that could sell a lot. It's a great concept. It is uh, a great product, for that matter. But the pricing and just the quality of the products do not match up. Uh, not not saying the quality of the OptiBay itself, but saying the quality of the super drive that comes with it, or the super drive enclosure, I should say, that comes with it, is just not worth that uh, extra $15 that you kind of bundle together with the OptiBay. But anyway, guys, uh, this was the review of the OptiBay, and thank you for watching.